Hi everyone, Sarah here. I know it's been a while since I last posted. So I finished my AT Sobo journey last November. I came home and immediately went back to work. So I've just been working, hanging out in Tucson. Um, yeah, just doing my thing here. Also, I want to apologize for the background noise. Our AC has been out for a week and a half and we have a couple window units and all the fans going and it's just loud in here all the time. So apologies for the background hum in this video. So I'm taking a week off of work and I'm going to go hike South Dakota's Centennial Trail and I wanted to share that journey with you all. Um, this is 125 mile trail. You can either do north to south, south to north. There are a couple different shuttle services that can get you from Rapid City, South Dakota to the either trailhead. Um, yeah, it's very doable with a week time off. But yeah, the Centennial Trail. So it was to mark South Dakota's 100 years of statehood. Uh, it goes through Wind Cave National Park, up through Custer State Park, and throughout the Black Hills National Park area and ends at Bear Butte. Uh, I'm actually going southbound starting at Bear Butte and I'll end down in Wind Cave National Park. Um, I wasn't really, I didn't really care on direction when I picked this, but I had already booked my time off of work and by the time I booked flights, realized that the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally is that week. I didn't even think to look at when that was. Um, so things are chaos and people will be heading home about the time that I am finishing the trail and I just didn't want to be anywhere near Sturgis when everyone's like trying to leave Sturgis and me trying to leave Sturgis as well. So I'm going to start there, head south, and hopefully beat some of that that traffic, that chaos. Uh, but yeah, I'll be there towards the start of it, so I'm sure that will be its own magic. <laughs> A lot of this gear is pretty much what I used on my AT southbound journey. I'm still using my Gossamer Gear Kumo pack along with the Thin Light foam pad in the back. I still have my Gossamer Gear trekking poles, still using my Nemo tent um, with the Polycro ground sheet. If you were with me during my AT hike, you know that my air mattress was just causing me grief. Uh, so I did update it, but I went for the Torso Link Neo Air. So pretty much exactly what I had, but it's shorter um, and newer. So it has a different uh, air valve than my old women's size Neo Air did. I am also bringing a lighter quilt. So on the AT, I carried my 10 degree quilt with extra stuffing in the foot boxes, extra toasty. Um, this time I'm bringing my 20 degree quilt. It is the one that I carried on the PCT in 2017. It's bringing all of my electronics, <laughs> all the batteries um, and charging cables there. Bringing my Solio, keep everyone at home informed where I'm at. Sticking with the Nightcore headlamp and also bringing my Koros watch with me. I'm going to continue using the Bee Free water filter and I'm also bringing this little cutoff scoop um, just in case the water sources are a little low, I can easily scoop that out of the creek. And this is my food bag. <laughs> so my food bag is as big as my pack. It is heavier than my pack weight uh, at the moment. This is six-ish days of food. Um, I'm planning on hiking six days plus like a six and a half mile day at the end. So, and there are a couple places to stop and get snacks, but this will be the bulk of it. And I think I'm just gonna carry it from day one. Bringing my spoon, 
I am cold soaking this time, so I'm bringing the Talenti jar. Clothes that I'm bringing, so I will be wearing a hat. It is very sunny, there's a lot of unshaded areas along the Centennial Trail, so I want to be able to have my hat. Um, just taking a pair of running shorts, and I will be wearing my Go Research Echo Sun shirt. It's super light. I hike all over Arizona with it. The more you sweat, I feel like it keeps you cooler, so I'm bringing that. Only two pairs of socks this time. Let's see if I regret not bringing a third. <laughs> so bringing my enlightened equipment. Puffy, just in case I get cold, it is dipping down into the 50s overnight, and I've been living here where it's 110. Just a little concerned that I might get cold. <laughs> we'll see though. Um, along that same line, I am opting to bring my Patagonia packet out tights. They are a bit heavier. They're the fleece lined ones that I started wearing at the end of the AT. Um, and I'm going to bring these just in case it is cold during the day and I want to wear them uh, or sleep in them. They are a little bit heavier than just my thermals, but I feel like I'll get more use out of them this way. Bringing my Bronwyn Merino bralette. Um, yeah, I pretty much live in this thing, so <laughs> may as well bring it. I'm also switching it up a little bit, so I will not be bringing my rain jacket. I'm going to bring my Cotopaxi windshell. I brought this with me on the Oregon Coast Trail a couple years ago and really enjoyed it. it sheds enough water it's not soup it's not waterproof at all um, but if it's drizzly it's fine uh, great for the wind but I'll I'm also trying out this umbrella again a lot of direct sunlight I've never used an umbrella while hiking so I'm just going to try it out on this trip also bring in my buff sunglasses bringing a pair of ultra lone peaks I think these are the sixes Something that I'm bringing on this trail that I've never used before, besides the, <laughs> besides the umbrella here, are these Technu uh, wipes. So I have used Technu to wash my clothes after you know brushing up against poison oak. There is a lot of poison ivy on this trail. I'm wearing shorts because I wear shorts when I hike. Uh, <laughs> So I am going to pack these wipes out and if you've touched poison ivy or poison oak, you can just wipe your skin with them and hopefully not have a reaction. So fingers crossed, otherwise I'm going to be in bad shape. My little bag of toiletry items, so toothbrush, hairbrush, um, extra pills, in the Kula cloth again, and my trowel. I am also bringing my pack towel on this trail. There are a couple of campgrounds, so you can rinse off, take a shower. A couple of luxury for fun items. I usually do bring a paper journal. This one's a little bit bigger than I would normally bring on a through hike, but in bringing it on this trail. And I also got these tiny little hiking binoculars. So I got these a couple years ago, taking them out for day hikes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to bring it on this trail. There's a lot of antelope and buffalo. I'm sure a lot of birds. So I'm going to check it out. And that's everything that I'm bringing with me on my hike of the South Dakota Centennial Trail. There are links below to the lighter pack list, which includes all of the items in my pack. Uh, as well as the videos from my previous through hike gear list if you want to compare side by side. And that's it. I'll see you all out on the trail.